guys, it's your Taco Mary and welcome back to my channel. Alam ko guys na inaabangan nyo itong video natin na to. It's the full review of the Huawei Nova 7i. Medyo nabitin kayo doon sa ating unboxing and first impressions. And, and it's been almost 2 weeks from now nung nakuha ko itong smartphone na to. And I think enough naman na yun guys para mabigay ko yung aking final thoughts and verdict about this smartphone. Before tayo magproceed sa video, I would like to remind everyone na meron pa rin po tayong ongoing giveaway. Ilalagay ko po yung link natin sa baba. Okay, sigurado na tayo sa price ng Huawei Nova 7i na 13,990 pesos nung unang lumabas. Yung unboxing natin, hindi tayo sigurado dahil speculations pa lang yun. So yes, tama ang hula natin na below 14,000 pesos siya. So it's a mid-range device. The back part guys is a glossy polycarbonate finish. So hindi siya glass, although it might look like glass dito sa ating camera and even sa pictures. And actually, nag-viral nga itong phone na to sa Facebook page natin dahil sobrang dami nag-share. Almost 10,000 as of the moment. And sabi nila, sobrang ganda daw talaga ng color. Again, ito yung tinatawag na Sakura Pink. It may remind you of the unicorn color or the cotton candy. Or ang sabi sa akin ni Jason, it reminds him daw of the Easter egg colors. Which is actually true. Ito ang nagpaganda pa sa kanya guys. Yung four cameras niya at the back, it may remind you of the iPhone 11 series. But this time, Huawei opted for 4 AI cameras. For the frame naman guys, it is made of aluminum and matte yung finish niya. So, mas perfect guys gumamit ng transparent jelly case para mas ma-showcase natin yung kulay na binili yung smartphone. Actually, may crush green pa and midnight black. If you guys remember the Huawei Nova 5T na naging viral then from last year, it kind of reminds me of that phone right now kasi parehas silang may punch hole sa kaliwa and parehas rin silang may IPS LCD display. So, kung nakahawak na kayo ng Huawei Nova 5T before, the display is medyo similar lang. But guys, for the size, medyo mas malaki ito ng konti. We have 6.4 inches IPS LCD display with 83.5% screen to body ratio. For the resolution, meron tayong 1080 by 2310 pixels. Para naman sa kanyang pixel density, we have 398 ppi. Well, syempre, hindi naman natin pwedeng i-compare yung display niya with some smartphones na mayroong AMOLED display, mas maganda of course yun with deeper blacks and mas vibrant yung colors. Pero ang masasabi ko lang sa display ng Huawei Nova 7i, accurate naman guys yung contrast level niya and maganda yung viewing angles. And pinasabi ko nga sa mga previous videos natin, okay na ako sa front camera na nasa gilid kaysa nasa gitna. Ang medyo hindi ko lang nagustuhan sa Huawei Nova 7 ay medyo makapal yung side bezels niya and the chin. Also guys, kung gusto nyo malaman yung sound quality nitong Huawei Nova 7 ay kamusta yung kanyang loudspeaker, ipaparinig ko siya sa inyo right now. Well, hindi ganun ka-impressive yung kanyang speaker, yung audio quality niya. But, buti na lang may kasama tayong headphone jack. Just in case lang na hindi nyo magustuhan yung kanyang loudspeaker. Next guys, the cameras at the back and the front. Alam ko medyo nabitan kayo sa sample photos natin. At yung mga features ng Huawei Nova 7i. Actually guys, may gusto lang ako ikwento sa inyo na favorite feature ko sa kanya na lately ko lang nalaman. Yung camera na itong Huawei Nova 7i guys, it capture smells. What does it mean? Punta lang kayo sa settings sa upper right corner. Tapos may makikita kayo guys na capture smells, i-turn on nyo lang yun. So every time na magsasmell kayo guys sa camera, magka-capture siya automatically. And it's accurate 90 to 95% of the time. Hindi mo kailangan masyadong lakihan yung smell mo. We have 48 megapixels wide camera, 8 megapixels ultra wide, 2 megapixels dedicated macro camera, and 2 megapixels depth sensor. For the video guys, we can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, kung mahili kayo mag-shoot ng videos at 4K, you might find this disappointing kasi nga, Hanggang 1080p at 30 frames per second lang yung kaya nitong device. Para ma 
process natin guys ng night mode, nandun siya sa pinaka menu, isa-swipe lang natin siya to the left para magamit natin siya. And in all fairness guys, the night mode is actually really impressive. Na-exceed niya guys yung expectations ko. And na-exceed niya rin guys yung mga smartphones na kalaban niya on the same price point. Well, hindi na rin ako magtataka dito guys kasi kapag Huawei maganda talaga ang night mode. For the video recording guys, isa pa na nagustuhan ko, you can switch between wide and ultra wide now. Finally guys, the macro camera is actually usable. Dahil yung ibang smartphones na may macro lens, hindi talaga ganun kaganda yung quality na binibigay sa atin. By default guys, yung resolution natin sa camera is 12 megapixels. So kung gusto nyo gamitin yung 48 megapixels, punta lang kayo again sa settings. Go to resolution and click 48 megapixels AI Ultra Clarity. Next, the Kirin 810. Gusto ko ipakita sa inyo guys yung naging result ng Antutu benchmark natin. Hindi naka-on yung performance mode at yung naka-on naman yung performance mode. Okay, unang-una guys, syempre itong Huawei Nova 7 ay siya yung unang smartphone dito sa ating bansa na gumamit itong chipset na to. Flawless and smooth guys yung gaming natin with the Huawei Nova 7 ay Mapa Asphalt 9 or Mobile Legends. Also, take note guys na itong smartphone na to, it has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Yung naging result niya sa Antutu benchmark guys, actually nataasan niya pa nga yung ibang mid-range devices na may mas mataas na price segment. It has a EMUI 10 based on Android 10. Okay, pag-usapan natin yung kanyang Huawei app gallery. Alam natin lahat na wala lang Google itong Huawei Nova 7i. Gusto ko sanang i-discuss to at maging balawag para sa inyo and para na rin sa ibang viewers ko kasi honestly speaking, ang dami nagtatanong doon sa Facebook post ko regarding the app gallery and paano yan walang Google. On my every Huawei video guys, lagi kong ina-explain sa inyo yung app gallery. Bakit? Ayoko kasing isipin nyo na every smartphone with no Google, isa na siya agad disadvantage. Pero naniniwala kasi ako guys na kaya ni Huawei to stand on its own. And yes guys, actually Huawei is doing very well without Google and the Huawei app gallery is improving every day. Hindi na siya magiging third biggest app store globally kung hindi naman talaga ginagawa ni Huawei yung best niya. Hindi ko po sinisugarcoat to. Impressed lang talaga ako guys kay Huawei sa mga ginagawa nila recently. Applications guys that are available in Huawei app gallery, meron po tayong BDO, East West, Gcash, Paymaya, Union Bank. For shopping applications, meron po tayong Lazada, Beauty Manila, SM Advantage, Robinsons Rewards, Rustans. For social media, we have TikTok, Facebook, and Viber. Now, for other applications, guys, like Mobile Legends, Wordscapes, Candy Crush, PUBG Mobile, yes, they may not be available in the app gallery as of the moment, pero pwede naman natin sila, guys, i-download sa mga third-party APK websites. This is what I do sa mga Huawei smartphones ko. And meron din ako mga videos na ililink ko sa baba na kung saan Pwede nyo panoorin yung mga tutorial natin. For YouTube guys, I access it mismo sa pinaka-internet app. Tapos gumagawa na lang ako ng shortcut sa pinaka-home ko para one click away na lang siya. And for my Gmail naman guys, para syempre pag nag-check ako ng mga emails ko, I access it through the email app mismo. So ayun guys, I don't really see any problems in terms of downloading applications for the Huawei Nova 7i. For the battery capacity, we have 4000 mAh. And it comes with Huawei's 40W supercharge. And in fairness ha, for a smartphone below 14,000 pesos, that's actually very impressive. For you guys to know yung ating charging test na ginawa namin and Jason together, I'll be flashing the clip right now. lasted me for more than 20 hours so halos isang araw talaga bago malubat yung smartphone. 
For my final birthday, guys, siguro ang tanging hindi ko lang nagustuhan sa kanya, guys, is the Nano Memory Card. Baka yung iba kasi dito, wala nun, or yung iba, meron na sila ng memory card na ordinary na lagi natin ginagamit. And to some people, not having 4K, baka hindi rin nila magustuhan. With great camera and impressive night mode, and a very attractive design, yes, the Huawei Nova 7i, guys, is a great device to consider. Oh, and before ko makalimutan, guys, the 40 watt. Huawei Supercharge. Same with the Huawei Nova 5T, guys. Naginawan ko rin ng after 2 weeks video. Hindi ako natisappoint. And with this one, hindi na naman tayo din disappoint ng isa pang Huawei Nova device. So, yan guys. Maraming salamat ulit sa pagnood ng mga videos ko. Baka this time, guys, baka medyo bumagal na yung paggawa natin because of what's happening right now. Hindi lang sa ating dito sa Pilipinas, kundi all over the world. Yes, alam ko na kasad ako rin naman nalulungkot sa mga nangyayari. Pero the only thing that we can do right now is to stay at home, stay healthy, uminom kayo ng vitamins, and avoid crowded areas. Oh, also, bago ko makalimutan, I'll be doing a comparison video. Let me know your ideas kung kaninong mid-range device ba dapat natin ilaban itong Huawei Nova 7i. Again, it's your tag girl Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!